Well, you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at the no internet access as you can see here down the bottom right we have a yellow exclamation mark when you open up your browser and you're trying to connect to the internet you'll see dns probe finished no internet and this is a common error and i'll show you some of the steps that you can take to try to rectify and fix this it's pretty straightforward and easy to do but if you're not familiar with this sort of stuff it uh, can be quite frustrating now sometimes this could be ISP related and it can also be uh, due to a bad Ethernet cable and other things like that. But we'll go through some of the most common steps here. Now if you take a look down the bottom right hand corner you will see either a red or yellow exclamation mark here. We're going to right click and troubleshoot problems on the network here. So let's hit that and let that run. Now this will go through and try to detect any problems uh, with uh, the computer or with your network and it will start to run through a, a load of different tests okay so just let that run it will take a bit of time and uh, you can see it's going to reset the ethernet adapter so any sort of things like disabled network drivers and stuff like that it will try to re-enable them and things like that so you can see here plug in an ethernet cable into the computer it's saying that there's no ethernet cable plugged in we can click here to see if the problem has been fixed it will then uh, start to check and see if there's any problems found and you can see there is problems being found the cable is not properly plugged in or it may be broken and uh, also you may want to check your router at this stage to see if the lights on there and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later on in the video so you can see there's other things here that you can check through uh, maybe the DNS has uh, gone down or you can change the DNS and I'll also show you how to do that a little bit later on in the video the default gateway is not available so we're going to click close here and you can see there's a red cross here now so we're going to open up network and internet settings and this will take us to our status of our network and you can see it's not connected so from here you can uh, click on the troubleshoot there which we did by right clicking on the thing there and you can also open up the uh, change network options here now sometimes you won't see your network up here it's been disappeared and that's a common thing that something is not right i.e something's gone wrong there's a, a an issue with your isp the status on your router will be flashing different colored lights and i'll show you how to check those in a second but if you have not got nothing to click on here um, then there's a, you need to check some of your router settings and i'll quickly show you uh, what you need to do there right now now most ISPs will have a status page where you can check the service that is running to your home. You would need to put in your zip code or postcode and you can also put in your telephone number. In this case Virgin Media are asking for your postcode which is in the UK and also your home telephone number. You would put those details in there and push continue and it would then give you a status and date and time of what's happening on your area you can see the broadband's working fine the tv is working fine and the phone is working fine and uh, there is no known issues now if there was an issue or work uh, being maintenance carried out in your local area it will say that here okay and uh, this will give you all the information so you'd know it's a temporary issue now there's also another area which is the help and support on your uh, ISP they would normally uh, give you some information here and if you look at the uh, router here it will give you uh, some of the information about your router and what the lights mean so check choose your router which you've got in your home and you can see the Wi-Fi light is green there and it gives you some other information if it's flashing green and stuff like that uh, it will give you some information if it's red what that means so it just helps you understand what is going on with your network so if there is a problem check your router lights and stuff like that and it will give you more details of what's going on so the internet light is these two little arrows in my case yours may be something different but you can check the router to make sure that everything is going okay so you can see here the base light at the bottom should be white in this case uh, which is our virgin media hub free and uh, check the cables make sure they're plugged in properly and also you can swap out a cable uh, if there's a problem with an ethernet cable they're pretty cheap and affordable so let's go back down to the bottom right hand corner and right click on this and open up our network and settings and then go in here and we've just been in here so we know what it looks like you've got your change of network adapter settings but down here you can see network reset what you want to do is click on the network reset 
and uh, this will help to reset all your settings on your computer while you're doing that um, you also want to reset your router so you want to unplug your router and then plug it back in and sometimes rebooting the router like that will uh, fix and resolve a lot of issues but you can see here we're going to reset our uh, network settings on our computer and uh, this will go ahead and it will say you'll be signed out in five minutes and it will run through a sequence of resets when you reboot and you'll be able to uh, hopefully get back onto the internet sometimes that does work and it resolves a lot of known common issues uh, with your computer or your router so reset your router and also reset your network settings on your computer so now we're going to go down to the start button down here and uh, what we're going to do is right click on this and go to device manager inside here you can also check to make sure that your network adapter is running and if you did push reset network this will automatically enable your driver if you had it disabled now you can see here it's telling us under properties that the device is working properly and uh, everything is working out okay but that doesn't necessarily mean that the driver is not corrupt so you can see here you can check the driver uh, date and version and see if there's a, an update available you can click on the update driver and uh, that will allow you to update your driver you can also download it from the manufacturer or motherboard uh, manufacturer's website you can do a search automatically for an update for this driver and uh, you can also check down here and browse and let you pick your own driver and you can select one down here and if you have one on a disk you can also say have disk and install it from there so we're going to click next here and just quickly let that install the driver and that's done now also if you're still having other issues you can roll back a driver which is grayed out in my case and you can also try the uninstall uh, device once you uninstall it you can leave the driver there but reboot the system and sometimes that refixes uh, the issue where the drivers become corrupted in some way shape or form uh, and you can just quickly do that now once you've done that what you can do is also come down to the bottom right hand corner open uh, network and internet settings go back in here we can see we are connected here now but I'm just going to show you change network adapter settings right click on your Ethernet uh, connection here go properties and then come down to internet protocol version 4 TCP IP uh, 4 use uh, the following DNS address here and put in here something like 8888 and 8844 and this is the Google DNS this is just in case uh, your ISP DNS server has gone down and you won't be able to connect to the internet what this does is it allows you to connect to the internet and get some internet uh, why they uh, fix and resolve their issues so it just stops you from having no internet access and this is can be a problem especially with virgin media sometimes uh, their dns servers do go down and we have problems connecting to the internet this is a quick resolve and it does help resolve that issue so if i just quickly check here you can see i'm getting on the internet and i'm using a google uh, dns server okay instead of my home my own uh, ISP's uh, DNS server and you can change that to whatever DNS server you want there's plenty of them out there that you can just uh, use temporarily or permanently if you want to next up you can boot up to a live CD and I showed you how to use Bitdefender's uh, live CD it's uh, free to download if you have another computer and you have internet access on that computer you can actually download one of these and you can also have a copy of this lying around uh, boot to this or a Linux CD or something like that and you can always test your internet from here and it will give you a good idea whether your network card is failed or whether something like that has gone wrong with your internet it's a good way of testing you can also boot into safe mode and try uh, the internet from uh, safe mode with networking and see whether you get internet access from there if you do then it's probably a firewall or antivirus problem or something like that and uh, you can also run scans from this environment here just in case it's malware related or adware related which is uh, done sort of some sort of change to your DNS or a proxy or something like that and you can do a quick scan and check for that I'm just going to quickly exit out of this and I'm going to try uh, and run the browser from here to see whether we do get internet access uh, from here so there is an internet tab here we can go in here and click on uh, Firefox and to see whether Firefox fires up now once this fires up we can quickly put in a site maybe BBC something like that just to see whether we're getting internet access and of course we are and that's working fine now as you can see here another thing you can do is reset all your 
um, settings here and you can use uh, the batch file or you can use a command line to do this as well but there is software out there available which is something like this which is really useful uh, if you're not familiar with the command prompts and stuff like that this is a portable app which you can use I'll quickly drag this onto my desktop and I'll show you what you can do here and sometimes doing this also resolves a lot of known common issues as well so I'm going to extract that by right clicking on it and extract to the desktop click next and it will unpack that uh, zip file and then inside here we can now run uh, this file here I'm going to right click and run this as administrator now you may get a, a warning coming up say Windows protected your PC this is because it's an unknown publisher but the file is safe to use it's just an unknown reg and they haven't registered their software and it's just a common thing that does happen okay but once we get inside here you can see it's going to allow us to reset our internet protocols reset our windsock and also renew internet connections flush our dns resolver cache and also flush our arp cache and you can also repair internet explorer 11 i've left the commands for the command prompt up on the right hand side if you want to use the command prompt type those in one at a time and push enter and that will also do the same thing what we're doing here you can see reset uh, windows firewall configurations just in case you've blocked your internet or something like that and you can also restore the default host file sometimes if you've been messing around there or malware's changed some stuff it will resolve that and fix it so just run this a uh, quick program and let it run you can see it's doing its uh, resetting and you should get a log file at the end of it and uh, once that's done Hopefully uh, this will resolve your issue and you'll be back up and running and be back on the internet. Now remember guys, this is only going to resolve issues that are on your computer and also resolve issues if they're uh, fixable. Now if it's a bad Ethernet cable and you haven't got one of those, then it's not going to fix it. Or if it's a bad router or bad a piece of hardware, it's not going to resolve that unless you swap it out and replace it. And you would need to contact your ISP or uh, PC repair shop. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your support. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.